Over the course of the campaign, both parties unveiled major policy promises to try to win over voters. Here's a quick snapshot guide for you to both the Liberal and Labor Party's plans and priorities. The Liberals have drawn the ire of Clubs New South Wales by promising to make pokey machines cashless by 2028. They've also unveiled nation-leading stamp duty reform, offering first home buyers the option to pay annual land tax instead. And they promised to spend $3 billion, million dollars rather, to raise the Warragamba Dam Wall to mitigate flooding. Labor is less ambitious on gaming reform. They're pledging a trial on 500 poker machines. They'll be removing stamp duty for properties less than $800,000 and are also opposing privatisation by promising to enshrine government ownership of Sydney water in the constitution. When it comes to the cost of living, well, the Liberals' big-ticket item there was a children's future fund. If parents contribute $400 annually for their kids, it's matched then by the government. They've pledged no new taxes as well and are offering consumers a $250 power rebate. The weekly maximum public transport spend will also be cut to $40 if the coalition wins. Labor, well, they're promising to give nurses and teachers a pay increase above the current 3% cap, but it hasn't been costed or committed to a specific amount at this point. Public sector wages account for 40% of the state budget, and there was some concern this week from the independent experts about what sort of impact those wage increases will actually have. Labor's also going to be capping tolls. Their level is $60 a week, and they'll be reviewing the tolling system for possible future reforms.